Hey guys, this is Kamaguno, and today I'm doing a review for all new X-Men issue 26. Before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a little update. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 46, and this, that's the show where I review all the comics read this week in one show, and here are those exclusive comics. We have Disney Kingdom Seekers of the Weird issue 4, and Furious issue 4. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno episode 46. And guys, we also have a contest going on um, on co um, Comic Frontline for our 750 subscribers. Uh, you guys can recommend us a comic book for us to review in the future. So we'll all be reviewing one of your recommendations. So be sure to check out that video for more information and I'll be annotated. But let's talk about all new X-Men issue 26. Uh, yeah, cool cover. We get to see this new Jean Grey, whatever is going on with her, this new power she has, which is really interesting. I personally really like the cliffhanger. I know some people are off about the about that issue, but I really enjoyed that issue. Um, and we get to see Jean Grey have this new power, and not really explored in this issue, but we get to see a lot of talking, uh, which I, that's what I kind of like about, about all new X-Men, is more of those talking issues with each other. I really do like um, how Brian Michael Bendis is... Um, could really expand an emotional scene, and there's a lot of uh, good uh, talking scenes here that I feel like has been needed with all new X-Men. Uh, but in this issue, we get to see uh, older Cyclops and Jean talk to each other and say, hey, you know this is never going to work, but I'm glad we could be friends. Uh, Kitty, she's pretty angry just because of everything that's happening, and she's just taking out on everybody, especially Scott's like, well, you're not going to go near her ever again. She's just trying to be a protective professor, a protective guardian. And then uh, Laura, she wants to leave because, you know, Scott left. She feels like she has no one to love because, yeah, she still had, a, you know, Avengers Arena. You know, she's still hashing out from that. Uh, so she wants to leave. And we see that there's a shapeshifter that stabs her and pretends to be Cyclops. So that's pretty much how the issue ends is that everyone's surrounding her. And, um, you know, Laura walks in so I've been stabbed and is a shapeshifter. And our cliffhanger is that, <laughs> remember Bow the Atom? Well, those future people are back, which I kind of like because I feel like they didn't really finish your story, so I'm glad that they're trying to finish it up here. Um, even though I didn't love Bad the Atom, especially what happened in the end of the series where Kitty is now in Uncanny X-Men, which I had to drop because I just did not like that series that much. Um, but I really enjoyed this issue. I, I mean, I can see where some people, I, I haven't read any or read or viewed anyone's reviews yet, but... I can see why some people might think that some of the characters were whiny here, um, but I, I feel, um, you know, they, they all had a purpose of doing that. Like, Laura, why did she leave? Um, I, Laura left because she had no one to trust. Laura never really had anyone to trust, so I, I like that story. Kitty, you know, she, she's overwhelmed because she doesn't really know um, how to protect her students because every either people are leaving, getting stabbed, uh, so she's just being overwhelmed. I do like that they showed that here in this issue. Uh, but yeah, I really liked all the emotional moments here. I love the art. Um, it's one of the things I really love about this series is the beautiful art. And I have to say, this is the issue I enjoy the most. Nothing blew my mind this week. Um, and that's probably why this is my pick of the week. Uh, but I liked it. I thought, you know, it went back to what All New X-Men was always about. Um, what I always enjoy about All New X-Men is these conversations. And I think Brian Michael Bendis knows how to knows these characters so well that you have these really cool emotional conversations that you need after all these events that sometimes they forget to do because there's another event. Um, I like that they're hashing it out here um, and really having a conversation the conversations that are needed. Uh, and then we have a cool cliffhanger with, uh, you know, Bad the Atom and Laura. Uh, and I really like to see where this, uh, where these group of people are going. Uh, so I'm going to give this a four and a half. Again, maybe if this was a different week, I don't think it would be my pick of the week, but this is the one that impressed me most this week. So I'm going to give it a four and a half, and it is my pick of the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the right situations, and don't forget to like my Facebook page, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.